is the uh, kanji for Sen Bazuru. Um, it literally translates to a thousand cranes. Sen, right here, is the kanji for a thousand. Ba is the counter for birds or feathered objects, or feather, feathered animals, like little tiny animals. And then Zuru uh, means crane, literally, or uh, Suru. So this is the kanji for all that. And basically, uh, Senba Zuru started uh, as a legend. Um, cranes are highly uh, regarded in Japanese society and culture. They're seen as creatures of happiness and they rep represent many things. Um, but many people believe that cranes live for a thousand years. Um, and so that's where this tale came. And uh, it was popular, but it didn't become mainstream with the folding of the thousand cranes until recently in 1945 uh, because of a little girl named uh, Sadoka, or uh, sorry, Sasaski. Sas Sasaski. Um, Sasaski Sadaka. Sadaka, sorry. Uh, she. Uh, she got leukemia. She's a two-year-old. She got leukemia from the bombing in Hiroshima. And uh, so she started folding cranes and that really uh, took off. Sadly, she did not live through uh, her cancer battle, but many people started doing it in her memory. And if you go to Japan now, you'll see uh, strings of those thousands of cranes uh, on the Hiroshima uh, monument that they have there. So, yeah, cranes uh, represent good fortune, and the legend of the crane in Japanese culture is if you fold a thousand of those cranes, uh, you will get any wish. You will get granted one wish.